Do you like that talc? Well, I've not opened it yet. I was keeping it for Christmas Day. Well, it's talc, it is. Right. Yeah, then. Bye, love. See you tomorrow. Yeah. See you, Gwen. Bye, Scott. How's it all going? Oh, he's good as gold, he is, Gwen. I'm meeting his mother tomorrow, spending the day with her. Oh, I know, Alison. We were in guides together. Were you? We're having a fish supper later. Do you fancy joining us? Oh, I would love that. Are you sure? Of course. You don't want to sit on your own. Hey, <laughs> stop it, Jim. You're a married man now. Huh? <laughs> Although, if you are interested in that sort of thing, you know, I'm very open-minded. I'm discreet. Why did I offer to help someone who's owed me six and a half thousand pounds since 1992? But she is paying you back, though. Fair play. A pound a week, Gwen. What does she take me for, a fool? I'll be 140 by the time it's repaid. Well, look, now, I'll do the salad. No, then. why should you? You're defeating the object. Now, just leave it. Let her come up to me, as she undoubtedly will, and say, Oh, door, where's the salad? And I'll say, oh, fatty, where's my cash? Worst thing that ever happened to me, becoming a mother. We'd never connected. I kept waiting for that mother-daughter bond. It never arrived. She was horrible, wasn't she, Gwen? Oh, you're Moira? Yeah. I was in school with her. And I don't like to talk ill of people, but she was a nasty piece of work. She was the bane of my life. Some days I'd see her and I'd be filled with hate. I'd just want to smother her. Fair play. I'm drunk now, if the truth be told. The thing with Scott is, he's a bit of a pothead, he is. He loves his skunk, and he's been trying to get me to have a go. Well, the thing is, I did all that back in the 60s. Bombs, Happy memories. I know. And I said to him, you knock yourself out, love, but I'm sticking to the wine. Well, that was 10 o'clock this morning. And to tell you the truth, Gwen, I'm absolutely twatted. What in God's name is Jean doing your brim? She just staggered in. I know I invited her, all right? What? You dickhead. Doris, I was low on numbers. I had no choice. Well, I hope to God Gwen has not had a drink when she sees her, because there'll be all hell to pay. Doris, please don't stress me out. I'm a nervous wreck as it is. Chillax, Bryn. Get a beer down you. I'm not going to stir things up. Oh, thanks, Doris. I appreciate it. Jean. And if a ten-ton truck kills the both of us to die by your side, well, the pleasure, the privilege is mine. Oh, there is a light and it never goes out. There's a light and it never goes out. Tell me tomorrow I'll wait by the window for you.